Hey you, so I've got my most recent bulk submission grades back in, so I didn't show what I was actually sending in on these coins here, so I'm just going to be displaying them here, it's going to be no surprise as to what they are, and just go over a few of the things and details that I've got, I also had a bit of a situation of cowboy grading, not necessarily grading, but just a whole cowboy situation that's happened with these so i'll break into them we'll just break into these as we go along and we'll just take it from here and i'll go over them one by one just give my thoughts per coin so as you can see it's going to be a bit of a rwandan feast so i've sent in the dogs from what i've seen and got back from other individuals these dogs are really 50 50 but from my results as we'll see i've had a fantastic result with these dogs so First, I've got a PR70 in, so it's worked out great. Um, individuals have sent me images of their dogs, either with milk spots or just the quality on these weren't the greatest. So it's always going to be the case, especially with these Rwanda coins, as improving, especially in 70. I believe I got a 69 there. These are always going to be fetching on demanding very high premiums. I mean, in the raw form, these are already going for very large numbers, so whenever you can get 70s and depending on whether they do grade good at 70s I know with the proof silver rooster Rwandan coins it was very hard to get 70s in those but when you do get a 70 they do sell for very high premium so I've got another 70 there so I'll try to divide the piles and we'll go over them one by one but as you can see I was fortunate enough to get a few very nice grades and so we've got another 70 there so that's three 70s on one 69 as we still continue going into the dog so i displayed all of the dogs that were there at the time so these are the ones that just went in for grading another 70 all looking fantastic i will also show a little issue that i've seen with a few of these rewinding coins on the obverse it's just regarding the little sundial symbol there and it's a little shifted i'd say it's at 12 o'clock right now but a little fault that i've noticed on a few of them is that it tends to the whole entire thing tends to like lean more towards one o'clock. I'll go over that in a moment. So, whoops, it is as well. That was another 70. So, we have four 70s with a bit of noise breaking out outside. So, bear with me. So, this is another 70 that we've got here. So, the 70s are coming in thick and thin. Very happy with them. So, now we get into the gold grades. So, the gold, once again, dogs grading very handsomely. I've got a 70 dog, which I'm very happy with. So we have an MS70 there. So we'll get that down at the back there. And then we have the ships in. Now with these ships, as been mentioned before, the ships are very, very, very tricky because I would say out of the roosters and the dogs, a lot of the Rwandan stuff we have at the moment, these have been a bit of an issue because the sails um, are high relief. I don't know if you can see that. does highlight a bit there you can see as it's really proof like now a lot of individuals were even getting scuffs there. there's a, there's a bit like with the queen's beast coin and the uh, queen's face getting scuffs on the cheek that seems to be the situation with the santa maria coin so getting 70s and this whether it's silver or gold you really want to be very happy because they are very hard to grade and it's always the cells that are letting them down so i'm going to give a few examples of these here but i have 170 which i'm over the moon with with the dogs, as I've mentioned, I would say out of all of them, through owning all of them and grading all of them, I would say dogs have graded the best for me. So we have a MS70 there on the dog. Very happy with that on the gold. We break into another Santa Maria ship and we have an MS69. So I don't know. I personally can't see, see it, but I don't know if you can. Just comparing the both there, I always look since I've been sending in any coins and just wondered to myself where they found any type of inconsistency because to me, they both look perfect in every way, but we'll never know. I'll always call them cowboys forever and we'll see with a scenario that I'm about to show at the end with my coins on the cowboy grading situation. But looking at them, they both look fantastic to me. I don't know where they may have found the fault. I never will know. See here on the obverse, the thing I was mentioning, I think you can see it here but these are two different coins so i'll show it on both but as you can see one sits more at 12 o'clock and the whole of the thing seems to shift a little more to the right here more say one o'clock but i'll hopefully get a better example 
on both coins. So that's a 69 Santa Maria gold ship. We have another dog here, and I believe it's a 70. So fantastic. As I mentioned, the dogs seem to be grading very well. That's another dog there. So we have another Santa Maria, and it's a 70. Fantastic. Let's see if I can get a example there. Yeah, so that's two Santa Maria ships. So I don't know if you can see, they are both sitting flush. So, or oh, I think they're both wonky on this one. But on the left, yeah, they're both a little on the wonky side, but the left one looks a lot more the little sun. I don't know if it's sun, but it's a lot more shifted to the right. But that's a 70 there. And we'll break straight into now the cowboy situation. Now, first and foremost, all the coins here, as I've mentioned in the past, all of my collector coins that I pick up are for sale. So I've had a bit of table tennis matches with individuals back and forth, and I've had some definite fantastic direct sales from serious individuals. So I would say if you're interested, please put your offers across to me. It's pointless asking me what I'm asking for them. If you do your homework and find out what they're selling for, what you think they're going for, just put an offer across and I'll let you know if you're hot and cold. You know, I want to sell them for the most I can sell them for. That's all I will say on this. So if you, if you are interested, definitely go ahead and put your offer across to me. It's pointless asking me what I want. And I'll just let you know if you're hot or cold and we'll take it from there. So breaking into the cowboy situation here, I hope you guys can see this. So this is a proof Santa Maria coin I have. And this has gone off to the graders, mind you. And for all the Eagle Island individuals out there, you can see they've designated it an MS. Now, there was a bit of a situation for anybody that's recently sent their coins in for the Graden Week in Paris with PCGS may want to check because Eagle Eye Dave was the actual one that spotted it. I was too busy focusing on the actual number. But as you can see, it's supposed to be a PR and not MS. And this is a grading company we're dealing with here. So it was noticed that was a 70 and this is a 70. It was noticed while they were still with PCGS. So I did bring it to their attention and they was able to fix the silver proof dogs, but the labels on these haven't been amended at all, which is very frustrating. You know, so these have to be sent back. So it was a whole big hoorah, another proof. So we have a MS. I'm very happy with these grades because on the silver proofs I've mentioned, the cells are really letting these down. So we have a 60 here. But as you can see, they're all labelled MS, so all incorrect labelling. So that, that was just very upsetting because these guys are a grading company. I don't know with the actual graders themselves. So we have a 69, so I'm not sure what I had that. I believe I had three 70s and two 69s. But it's just very bad. And it, I'd understand we all make mistakes. And this was brought to their attention now. And then they went on to still further send out the coins with the wrong label. So these need to be sent back and get them adjusted at some point or as soon as possible and then we'll take it from there. So that was the cowboy situation, not very happy with that. They had labeled them incorrectly. When I was able to check online, I was able to bring it to their attention and they still went on to send these coins out with the incorrect labels. So just one big massive inconvenience. But to break it down and summarize all of them, as you do, so I have, I believe, on the nautical ounces, I have two 70s there in the gold um, and one 69 on the gold dogs. I believe I have three 70s, so they went fantastically well. Very happy with the results on the dogs. As you can see, the dogs have done very good. So three 70s, I'm not sure that's in focus. And then on the silver proof dogs, which seem to grade very well. I'm not getting things mixed up. I have 170, 270, 370, 470, and 269s. So hey, who complains? We all love a 69. So that's the grades all in all. So hey, I love it, guys. It'd be fantastic to know what you guys think of these results. If you did send anything into PCGS Paris on the most recent grading week, you may want to get your um, you may want to double check on how your labeling is. I mean, it slipped past me, so it says a lot. But it's, I, I, I mean, I know an individual who has a gold that's been, and this is a BU coin that's been designated PR. So they're having somewhat of a boo-boo on a massive scale out there. I don't know what's going on. 
I don't know if it's different departments that are taking care of the grading or it's all done in-house by the same individuals. I don't know if they've got individuals taking in the coins, grading the coins and then so forth. But it's not going very well. They've made it very bad on, on a very large scale. So these will be going back in to get the labels fixed. And then from here on out, we'll see what happens with these. But you know, as I've mentioned, I'm in it for the minute. So everything's got to go. So hey, all love it guys. It'll be fantastic to know what you guys think of this video. Don't forget to come ahead and follow me on the links that I've left in the description. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to catch you guys in the rebound.